The kettlebell swing is one of the most powerful and popular exercises that you can do with a kettlebell. When we talk about kettlebell exercises, we can classify this exercise as a ballistic movement. This is actually where the kettlebell shines the most. So let me show you how it works. Gregory from Leberstakia. We're all about kettlebells. So if you are into kettlebells, then like the video and consider subscribing. First, you must understand that there are different styles when it comes to kettlebell training. Hybrid, hard style, and kettlebell sport. Explaining the different styles in full detail is outside the scope of this video. Just know this. What I'm about to show you is the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing that combines the best of both worlds. Before jumping into the swing, the first exercise that you want to master is the kettlebell deadlift. The deadlift involves one of the most important movement patterns that you will need all throughout your kettlebell training journey, and that is the hinge. The hinge is basically shoving and moving your hips back with a locked spine and soft knees without engaging your knee or ankle joints. Once you've mastered the deadlift, you can take on the swing. The swing consists out of five phases, but to make it very easy for you, we'll just boil it down to three. The first phase you'll only engage once, right before you start. We call this phase the triangle. Illuminati confirmed. The second phase is when the kettlebell is on top and your hip is fully extended. We call this phase hip extension. Phase number three is when the kettlebell reconnects with your body and goes into the backswing. We call this phase amortization. A couple of key points are very important here. When you stand in the triangle and grab the kettlebell, make sure your grip is not too tight. You also grab the kettlebell with only one hand and you'll switch hands in phase number two. Once you get ready to start, make sure you're in the hinge with bent knees, similar to the deadlift. Your back is straight and you should feel some tension in your hamstrings. When the bell reaches phase two, there are shear forces that may act on your spine. In order to engineer out these shear forces, make sure you contract your abdominals and your quads and your glutes. Your upper body can be slightly relaxed and in an advanced stage, even tilted back a little to a certain extent. You can do this in order not to go too far outside your center of mass and to get a more comfortable fluidity in your motion. When the kettlebell goes into amortization, there's a key element that you want to remember. We call it ABC and this acronym stands for arm body connection. In order to reach perfect ABC, you have to work on your timing instinctively. When something falls between our legs, we pull our hips back. In this case, you want to override your instinct and make sure that you engage in the hinge after your arm has reconnected to your body. Talking about instincts, there's another important aspect of this integral part of being a living being. The second instinct that you want to override lies in your hands. You know, human beings are handsy creatures, yet with this exercise, we don't want to involve the muscles of the arms too much. We rather want to focus on doing work with our glutes and hips. Finally, let's consider some thoughts about breathing. We utilize a specific breathing method that we call power breathing. There's two key points. You breathe out with a sharp noise where you emphasize on breathing out. Breathing in is almost an automatic process because you treat your lungs and your diaphragm like a pump. Do this through the nose when the kettlebell lands in the backswing. Second, you try to keep your abs as tight as possible. We call this breathing behind the shield. Listen to me breathing in the swing to understand exactly on how to implement this type of breathing technique. Now, if this stuff overwhelms you and you're not sure about it, then don't worry. We always recommend talking to a certified coach who can help you drill down the necessary basics, give you live feedback, and share with you one of the most powerful exercises that you can implement in your training regimen. The world of kettlebells is dominated by two training styles called heart style and kettlebell sport. Although vastly different in nature, they have been proven to work and give you the most bang for your buck whenever you pick up a kettlebell. If you understand them correctly and are able to differentiate between the two. If you are a beginner, this task might be understandably confusing. Enter the hybrid style and discover how to combine the best of both worlds. The hybrid style masterclass is a 10 week practice based online course that will help you take your kettlebell skills to an elite level made 
in Switzerland. Learn what's been holding you back and how to become a versatile kettlebell master without having to piece together countless YouTube videos or rely on a gym membership. The price of the Hybrid Style Masterclass is 397 US dollars per month for three months. Save 20% with a one-time payment of 997 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new students every three months. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.